Look at that, that hillside, all just that ridge line, like covered in saguaros. That's so cool. There's that one little dense patch right there. So the plan at this point is to shift from this pre-exploratory phase to an actually legally FEC recognized organization of a, an exploratory committee and we're going to be doing that in January and when we do that announce the community and unity tour of the state conventions of the Libertarian Party throughout the spring leading up to the 2018 National Convention June 30, July 3rd in New Orleans and then we're going to Europe. I'm going to be doing 40 cities in three months in Europe next fall. Then the following spring, we're doing the South of the Border Tour. And I can at least fake my way into speaking French, Spanish, Arabic, and German. So I plan on giving speeches in all those languages and then have to learn Portuguese when we do the South of the Border Tour. Then we, everything is going according to plan, switch into full campaign mode. July 4, 2019, at the Jefferson Monument in Washington, D.C., and announced the release of American Freedom, the book of making the case to the American people as to why we should dissolve the federal government, and then uh, the 20 city American Freedom Tour. And with that, we are uh, you know, starting to shift gears to reach into the mainstream at that point. And then in February 2020, before we kick off the whatever we're going to call the tour of the 2020 state conventions, we're going to have a military for Kokesh march on the White House from the Pentagon in formation, like we did with Veterans for Ron Paul. Except this time, when we chant, end the Fed, will mean the entire federal government, not just the Federal Reserve. Now, ben, ben has a few administrative notes, and I really appreciate y'all's patience. For, ben, ben, if you would come up here one more time. Absolutely. But since this is the last night on the tour, we also have a few other people that we have to recognize who have been uh, traveling with us. And I guess the really, we should, maybe should we do this in chronological order? I think so, yeah. All right, so uh, I've been honored to know this, this first person that we're going to bring up here for a couple years. He's a National Guard veteran. Uh, he's a, a libertarian activist who is especially active right now promoting the growing movements with the LP in Cuba and Venezuela and thanks to the support of our friends here tonight and so many others online he is working on my biography right now which I am just blown away by. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Zach Foster. Yeah, yeah. I think in terms of actual days on the road, he's the one who holds the record yeah, on us too. Right. So, all right, so who's who's next? I guess uh, the, the guy who's been with me now for most of the year, who came in to uh, plug some holes for us on this campaign tour and do a, a lot of really amazing work. If you guys have ever order merchandise from us at thefreedomline.com, he's the one who actually makes it happen. He's an Army veteran. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Aaron Askew. Yeah. Now, while we were in Rhode Island, we also picked up another driver who I, I, I guess seen a pattern here, happens to be a U.S. Army veteran. He's been great on this tour. It's been a pleasure to have him around. He's been a great driver, Save including life. saving <laughs> Ben's life in the incident that killed the Freedom Trailer that is now known as wow. the, the Shakening. Shakening. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Elijah Gizzarelli. Yeah. Now, as you can see here, we have a crew, and there's one more uh, veteran to introduce here. One of the things that I'm excited about more than anything within this campaign is that we are organizing veterans and already signed up on this tour active duty members of the United States military against militarism. And we have a lot of really exciting plans coming up with Military for Kokesh. And the person heading up that organization right now is none other than Adam House. Yeah. Woo! We wipe, 
forgot to mention, also helped organize Veterans for Ron Paul with us in 2012. So uh, we also have, I guess, uh, three other uh, honorable mentions for people to join us on this tour that it's worth at least getting a shout out for the record. And uh, two, two females who also were smart enough to learn from the mistakes of others. Uh, Stacy Cook and Ashley Blackburn have been amazing on this tour, helping getting people engaged. And finally, a lot of you who have been up in my place know Marine Corps veteran Eden Donabella, who's been a great driver and mechanic on this tour. So for them and for all of you and everybody else who has made this tour possible, thank you very much. All right, no, really, one more time, at least for the five guys on the stage, for having lived through the traumatic experience of being on the road with me. Please, for these guys, one more time. And now, stay, keep your seats. I'm going to hand out some flyers.